Hi guys, how are you today? Finally, I'm film filming this video. Uh, basically, it's the unboxing of the pencil case um, that I ordered from Jackson's Art Supplies. I actually got the box um, a few days ago, but uh, I've only only right now I've had the time um, to film this. <laughs> so basically, it came in the post box and I already removed that I already open and remove it so then the pencil case was in this cardboard box and I've only opened the sides so let's see what we got okay so it's basically um, a black pencil case so it's supposed to hold 142 pencils, so it has a handle, so you can, you know, take it with you somewhere if you want. And it has three compartments. Can you see? One, two, three compartments. So let's open. As you can see, they have Let's see on my own frame. Yeah, you still can see. Uh, you, we have single or individual pencil slots. So I like that, I, uh, actually. So it feels nice to the touch. It looks well made. I don't see any, you know, loose threads or anything. So. It's uh, their own brand, Jackson's. So, it's, I think it's very simple, but very, you know, decent quality, good quality, yes. So, now I have my ink tents. Hang on. I have my ink tents here. Oops, sorry. I have my ink test here on my side. Let me show it to you. So here it is, the whole set. And um, I'm wondering, should I... I think I will cut this part because I don't know if you guys want me see to pass the pencils from the tin to the pencil case. So I think I'll pause the video and then um, we'll come back okay so so I can show to you how it looks on the pencil case so I'll see you very soon okay okay bye guys hi guys I'm back so I finally finished putting all the ink tenses and uh, Obviously, they all fit because this is a 142 pencil case and um, there are 72, so um, I didn't put anything in this loops over here because I don't think I will. I'm not sure. We'll see. But you can put um, gel pens or fine liners or graphite pencils, whatever, or even a brush. So whatever you feel like doing it. So as you can see, all the ink tents are nicely installed. I will say though, because um, this pencil case is new, the loops were a bit tight. So I had to basically put the pencil point first, if you know what I mean. So it was, I tried to put the bottom first, but it didn't work. So then I also put my graphite tints and I have a few missing. And to be honest, I have no idea where they are. Then I put my polychromos. I only have the 24 uh, set. Then I have a few whole binds, just four. And then a few pastel pencils so I have Derwent, 
Caran d'Ache and I think Stabilo here. Is this Stabilo? No, it's a Koinor. And then I have just a pro. Oh, what is the name? There went Pro Color. Let's see. Yes, Pro Color. Exactly. I just bought this open stock, so I haven't even really color with that one. So they're nice and snug, so they're not gonna, you know, fall on you. One thing I forgot to mention was the price. So the price was 15 or 16 euros and um, I know in Amazon you can and you can get some pencil cases and uh, I don't know if they're cheaper. They might be cheaper, but the, the thing is um, from my experience they come from China so the, sh the shipping takes forever. And uh, I felt like I just gonna order from Jackson's because I know the shipping to Finland is quite quick. It's about a week. So compared to a month or two, it's very quick. So here's, I really, I'm really happy with this purchase and hopefully um, will make it easier for me to use my ink tents. Now I was thinking um, about actually swatching my ink tents in this book. So, big book of coloring charts. It's compiled and illustrated by Susan Carlos Carlson. Excuse me. And it's basically, I think she's the, that's her, you know, artistic name, Ru Rumi Child Charm Colors. I might be wrong, but I think that's it. So, I'm gonna do off camera color swatches. You can see. Oops. Excuse me. Um, actually, this is the wrong one. Let's see. Do I get the right one here? Well, I might as well um, swatch my graffiti, but here is the, for the ink ten. So I'm gonna swatch this off camera, and then I'm thinking that on camera I could. Hang on. On camera, I could color just a couple of flowers with ink tents and see how I feel about them. So I will do this and um, I mean the swatching and then I'll come back for a little bit of coloring so we can do it together. I'll be right back again. Okay guys. Hi guys, I'm back and it's actually been a few days. Um, yeah, this week has been quite tiring for me. Um, so it's actually been four days, but in any case, here's my ink tense swatches. And then I also did some kind of color combos for the flowers. So I have my ink tense pencils here on my side on my left side. Then I have just a eight round uh, brush. And this is by Wonder Fox F Wonder Fox, excuse me, Wonder Forest by Dana Fox. So uh, these brushes are supposed to be um, vegan. So I like them. They're they are nice and they keep the point. So excuse my messy hands. I was trying to make my fountain pen work and I need to figure out <laughs> how to still make it work. Anyways, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab uh Johannes book. And here's the swatch book I've been using. So once more. Actually, I need to keep this open next to me so I can have a look. 
I mean, I don't know if I will keep exactly in the same as I plan, the same color combos, we'll see. So, let's see. I'm gonna move this a little bit, sorry guys. Oh, by the way, I kinda tried to change the light situation a little bit. I hope it's better. So, now I'm gonna try to focus in, or zoom in, sorry. So, hang on. Okay, we are full, we are zoomed in. And I'm thinking for time's sake, because, Truth be told is that when I did my color chat, it was the video was over an hour and I had lots of problems uploading it um, because it was so long and I didn't have much storage on my tablet. So I would like to keep the videos max 20 minutes until I figure it out a better solution about uh, on how to edit and download and upload the videos so I won't have the same problems that I did to upload that one hour long. Um, so because of that, I'm thinking about doing maybe just uh, three or four flowers with the ink tents and see how it goes. And then maybe I will either finish off camera or if I figure it out the situation with you know storage memory storage and all that uh, then I might do a color and chat um, and finish this on camera so I'm gonna move a little bit and I'm thinking I'm gonna start with a simple flower so I'm gonna start uh, with this one I'm thinking like pinks and then purples and then blues, something like that. So I think I'm gonna go with um, fuchsia. Here's fuchsia. Oops, I'm off frame. Fuchsia. And then I think I'm gonna go with red violet. And deep rose. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with red violet. So I'm doing it light lightly because from what I've gathered ink tense as the name says it's very intense when you activate so it's better if you put Um, a lighter layer and then let it dry and then if you want more like if you want darker then you add another layer with the same color so and another thing that makes these pencils different from watercolor pencils is that once activated and once dried then they are permanent they won't move okay so that i'm get like i'm thinking that that has advantages and disadvantages disadvantages of course so advantages i would assume that it's easier to layer without you know uh without the layers lifting up Disadvantage is that if you make a mistake, then you can't really correct it. Unless maybe you put a, a layer of a darker color on top, maybe that could help. So, hang on a second. What color did I just use? Deep rose? Well, let's see. Yes, okay, now I'm going to go with red violet. So I'm just going to go around and leave some white space. Oops. I hope you can see what I'm doing, that my hand is not too... Oh my gosh, 
I don't know if you can see here, but I stained with my hands the page. Oh, oh well. Things happened, so. Let's see how this works. I'm a little apprehensive, but um, we shall see. Oh, oh, we're already seven minutes in. So I might do two flowers instead of four. And then As I said, I either continue off camera or once I kind of figure it out about, about um, oh my goodness, the memory and the st memory storage and all that, then I can really relax and do longer videos. So because I really want to do color and chat chats and color alongs. And it's not ideal if I'm not able to, um, you know, if I'm not able to upload those long videos. Okay, now I'm gonna go with fuchsia and I'm gonna go into the center and leave the center white. And let's start activating. I have my brush, okay, and I have also just uh, watercolor or a muslin cloth to, you know, blot. Okay, so let's start. I think I'm gonna start with a lighter, no, sorry, with a darker to the lighter. So. and then bring a little bit to the white. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me try one thing. Um, also, so I'm gonna go dip my brush in the water and I'm gonna see if I get, can get some pigments out of the point of the pencil. Did it work? How about this? I'm gonna dip the point of the pencil in the water. Okay, a little bit. Don't know if you can tell it's a little wet. Now I'm gonna try to lift some color with my brush. Will it work? It does work a little bit, yeah. Okay, I guess I kind of cover it up more than I would want it, but maybe I can you I can do a layer an extra layer and see if if the extra layer darkens the edges, so if that makes any sense. Okay, let's go to the next petal. I said darker I said lighter to darker, but I think I've started with a darker to light. Oh my goodness, you know, guys, give me, cut me some slack because, you know, I had another horrible night, so I'm once again sleep deprived. I have to be honest with you, I have um, pretty bad insomnias, you know. So, it drives me nuts because we all know the importance of sleep for, the, for your mental health, for your physical health, for everything. And the fact that I'm not able to sleep as I should, um, it's it's exasperating, it's 
it makes me want to, quite frankly, bash my head um, against the wall. But, um, and you know, I've tried different techniques, like relaxation techniques and all that. And sometimes they do work for a while, but then they stop working. My brain knows them and my brain says, okay, I know that already, it's not gonna help. So I need something else. I need some kind of, I need a different technique to, you know, to make me fall asleep. And I have to, you know, live with this, basically. Of course, I do my best to, you know, to fix the problem, whatever you want to call it. And, but you know, it works for a while and then it, it just stops working. Anyways, I'm gonna go into the center right now. And that's it. Um, guys, I gotta be honest with you. I don't think I did that too good of a job. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna wait until this dries and then do another layer however I'm gonna go with deep rose and I'm just gonna and I'm gonna use water I hope my head is not on frame. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring that a little to the needle with just clean, uh, clear water. See if we get some kind of shading here, some kind of shading going on. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with, oh my goodness, red violet, this dry right, yeah. Guys, I think I made a mistake, but okay. This is what happens, this is how I function, because honestly, Sometimes it's hard for me to pay attention to what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. And now I went with deep rose. And now I'm going to go with clean water, clear water. And uh, I think it looks better now. So I can't believe it's already 15 minutes. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to do another flower and I'll finish this, you know, off camera or whatever. And I'm gonna go with, let's see, I'm gonna look at my um, swatch, swatch uh, grid. And I'm gonna go with uh, mauve, this one, oh my goodness, mauve, thistle, and fuchsia. And I'm gonna go To this little one here so I'm gonna go in no let's go in uh, yeah let's go in with mauve and bring it here
sorry guys I'm a little quiet now because this is a smaller flower so I need to kind of pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing okay now I am thinking about going with thistle and very lightly I will fill in the petal like this or each petal <laughs> okay and I'm bringing this uh, thistle into this smaller petals around the center and then in the center I'm gonna use again once again the fuchsia okay so this will be my last flower um, I wish I could stay here longer but yeah but this video is already quite long so I'm starting trying to start or I'm starting with a lighter color and going so with a thistle and going into the mauve I hope you are able to see and that my hand or my head neither of them are in the way <laughs> I hope not when I edit I hope I don't see my hair on it on frame because or in frame because I'm gonna be a little upset Yes, the tiny bit upset. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the little small petals around the center. And now to the fuchsia. Okay. Well, I definitely need a lot of practice. This is a, I have to confess, it's a little awkward for me. And uh, it's also a little awkward to try this for the first time in, on camera because I need to be mindful of um, mindful that my hand is not in front of the of what I'm coloring. My head is not in frame. So um, I'm thinking I need to play with this off camera and then try again a color and chat. But hey, guys, it's. I'm looking at how long this video, this portion of the video is. It's already 20 minute, 21 minutes in and uh, I'm gonna end here the video. But just one note, as you can see here, I apply a second layer and it looks way better than the rest of the petal. So once I, you know, do the same for the other petals, I think it's gonna look a lot better. As for the small one, I really like the fact that I brought the darker color up to the edge of the flower and then fill in with a lighter color of the flower, no, of the petal, up to the edge of the petal, that's it. So guys, um, let me know if this helped you at all or if you enjoy me trying for the first time the ink tests in a coloring book and uh, next video will be a flip through because I have lots of them but I believe or I have plans that next Saturday's video will be some pencil reviews so stay tuned for that okay guys whatever you are have a good morning day or night Take care. Bye.